How's it going guys? Happy October 13th and welcome to my 31 days of Halloween Marathon. Today I will be reviewing a movie directed by some specific person and tomorrow I'll be directing a movie which is a sequel to this film and is also directed by the same person. Um, but today I'll be reviewing House of a Thousand Corpses, Rob Zombie's film. Um, I don't know about you guys, but Rob Zombie is honestly one of my favorite directors. I know he's a very controversial director, but I don't know. I just, I really like his work. Rob Zombie did um, House of a Thousand Corpses, Devil's Rejects, um, Halloween, Halloween 2, The Haunted World of El Super Bisto, The Lords of Salem. He did a quite a bit few of movies, but um, I think of the, all the movies he's done, this is probably my favorite one. Now, I know a lot of people would argue that The Devil's Rejects is they're a lot better than House of a Thousand Corpses, but um, I don't know. I just feel like this is his like his one movie, you know, his one movie that he's most famous for. House of a Thousand Corpses is a 2003 horror film, and um, it takes place on Halloween nights, and um, you should all know the story by now, but I'm going to tell you about it anyways. Um, there's these two teenage couples who are out on Halloween night looking for the legend known as Dr. Satan. So they're out, like, in this car, like, on this little road trip where they're meeting, or not meeting, but they're trying to find out about Dr. Satan and, like, you know, what, who he is and what he does and stuff. So, um, basically, um, they pick up this hitchhiker, um, who is played by Sherry Moon Zombie, which is Rob Zombie's wife, and, um, she takes him back to her place and, um, Basically, her family's, like, a little bit, like, unusual, you know, you can tell there's something, like, something strange about this family, and, um, once they're inside the house, they realize that, um, the, this family is definitely very strange and sadistic, and they kill people, and, you know, they're just a very crazy family. The Firefly family, I think is their name, but, um, yeah, basically, this family just kidnaps a bunch of people, and, um, they just like to torture them for their own entertainment and stuff. They're like these, uh, redneck, killbilly family, you know, I'm sure you all know Rob Zombie's style of horror movies. That's House of a Thousand Corpses for you. It does sound like your modern, generic horror movie, I know, it, and it kind of is, but what I really like about Rob Zombie is that he has, like, his own style in movies, you know, like, he has, like, his own little style where when you watch it, you know it's a Rob Zombie movie. It's, like, it's, like, kind of like that. Like, same thing with his music. I'm a big fan of his music. I'm a big fan of his mu movies. Like, everything that he does, I'm a big fan of. By the way, I don't know if I showed you this, but I have the, uh, the, uh, double feature three-disc collector set of Rob Zombie's films, uh, House of a Thousand Corpses and The Devil's Rejects. You can see that. Um, but yeah, anyways, back to Rob Zombie. Um... He's definitely one of my favorites. I mean, I like his mov movies, I like his music, um, I know, I'm just a big fan of everything he's done, but out of all the things he's done, I think House of a Thousand Corpses is my favorite. The Devil's Rejects is very good, too. Um, wait till you see my review on that tomorrow, but um, I, I still think this is probably my favorite work of his. Maybe the Halloween remake being my second favorite, I don't know, but the point is he makes some awesome mu movies and music, so um, definitely check him out if you haven't yet. But yeah, House of a Thousand Corpses, it's an awesome film. I really did like it. Um, it's been a while since I've seen it. I actually saw it for the first time in a long time, like, uh, this week. And, um, I completely forgot about how awesome it was, because I just, I really liked it. Everything about the movie is so, like, I don't know, it's so strange. It's kind of, like, it's kind of very humorous, if you have a dark sense of humor, kind of. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but I really love the movie. Hands down, the best part of the film is Captain Spaulding, played by uh, Sid Haig. Hey, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but he does an awesome job as Captain Spaulding in this film. Captain Spaulding is like this creepy guy in a clown makeup, and um, he wears like his little top hat. He's like a racist pig, and he like says this random stuff, and he's hilarious, and he runs a gas station, and it's it's... He's great. I mean, like, he's only in about, like, the first half hour of the film, but when he is there, it just, you know, you can't help to have, like, a smile across his, across your face because Captain Spaulding really does bring the show in this film. Like, he's awesome. <laughs> you miserable motherfucker. I ought to jump over this counter and bash your fucking balls in. Well, I'll tell you what, Ski King. Why don't you just take your mama home some chicken, and then I won't have to stuff my boot all up in your ass. Most of all, fuck you! 
Another one of my favorite characters in the film is Tiny, played by Matthew McRory, who actually passed away back in 2005. But, um, this guy had a, a disease of giganticism, or gi I can't even pronounce that, but... Yeah, um, he had this, like, rare disease where he's, like, super tall, and, um, he played Tiny in this film, and, um, he's one of my favorite characters because, sir, first of all, he freaked me out. Like, to this day, he still freaks me out. I just, there's something about him that's really scary. He wears, like, this mask and, you know, like, this, he always wears a sweater. I don't know, man, he's, he's just really freaky, and at times, he's pretty hilarious. Um, you know, he's kind of like this side character who's just kind of there for, like, almost, like, jokes and stuff. He kind of does, like, a few stuff that's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, the, Tiny and Captain Spaulding really make the movie for me in this one. The entire Fire, Firefly family, though, they, I mean, they all did a fantastic job. Everybody in this movie did a fantastic job. Um, however, I, I am aware that House of a Thousand Corpses is a very controversial film. Um, I mean, it's been receiving mixed reviews by everybody you either love it or you hate it like there really is no in between um i'm one of the few as you can tell who loved it I, like i'm a big fan of the film but a lot of people really don't like house of a thousand corpses or rob zombie films in that matter but i guess i could see why they're just not a big fan of his stuff but i'm a huge fan of rob zombie i think he's a great director but um yeah i don't know i just don't i don't think anybody really understood like you know and not a lot of people understand his style in his own movies, you know. They think he rips off a lot of people like Stanley Kubrick and whatnot, which um, I guess I could see, but I don't know. I still look at him as, like, you, you know, doing his own thing, and he's just very good at what he does. That's why I like House of a Thousand Corpses, and I do think it's a great film to watch during the Halloween season. And um, I'm going to give this film four pumpkins out of five. I really loved it. Definitely one of my favorite um, Halloween movies, and... Um, my favorite Rob Zombie movie, too. I really did like this movie, so um, check it out if you haven't. I'm Jacob Palacio, guys. Thank you for watching this review. Don't forget to check out my other reviews and my review on The Devil's Rejects tomorrow, which is the sequel to this film, and I will see you guys later.